Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This Eucharist is celebrated for all your intentions. It is the feast of the Corpus Christi, otherwise known as the body and blood of Christ. As we gather around our homes, the altars in our homes, as we here gather around the Eucharistic table, let us spend these few moments in prayer and reflection. Let us thank the Lord for his blessings, for numerous intentions that we have. We join those celebrating their birthdays, wedding anniversaries. We pray for the families of those whose death anniversaries are being celebrated. We also join families who are happy. News of birth in the family. News coming from loved ones who are away. We also join those who have been able to come back home during this terrible time of the lockdown and the pandemic. We spend a few moments in silence, thanking and praising the Lord and lifting up our own intentions to Him. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us give glory to God together. Glory, glory to God.
Remember how the Lord your God led you for 40 years in the wilderness to humble you, to test you, and know your innermost heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you, he made you feel hunger, he fed you with manna, which neither you nor your fathers had known, to make you understand that man does not live on bread alone, but that man lives on everything that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not then let forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the houses of slavery, who guided you through this vast and dreadful wilderness, a land of fiery serpents, scorpions, thirst, who in this waterless place brought you water from the hardest rock, who in this wilderness fed you with manna that your fathers has not known. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He who eats my flesh 
and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him as I who am sent by the living father myself draw life from the father so whoever eats me will draw life from me this is the bread come down from heaven not like the bread our ancestors ate they are dead but anyone who eats this bread will live forever the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ in the year 2004 there was a film released called super size me it was created by a gentleman called morgan spurlock and it was based on an experiment where he wanted to see what it meant to eat three times a day at mcdonald's for an entire month so this experiment went on and at the end of the 30 days not only did he put on over 30 pounds but his cholesterol levels were alarmingly high and his doctor informed him that if he did not change his diet then it would be fatal this particular experiment gave a visual form to the saying you are what you eat if you eat junk or fatty food your health goes for a toss if you help eat nutritional food food that is natural food that is good then you are able to maintain good health you are what you eat the feast of the corpus christi which we are celebrating today is a beautiful feast because it reminds us of the food that was given to us in the form of jesus and as we heard in the gospel this was food that came down to us from heaven and it was augustine in the 3rd century who wrote that when you receive the eucharist with full faith you become what you eat in other words when we receive jesus who has been present at the altar in the form of bread and wine transformed into the body and blood the soul and divinity through the prayer we receive this soul this divinity and we become like christ and his words therefore the last supper do this in memory of me our words that echo in our hearts because when we receive jesus we receive his mandate we receive his strength we receive his confidence and just as in the first reading moses reminds the people that they ate the manna given by god in order to strengthen them and nourish them in the wilderness in the same way we receive jesus to strengthen us to nourish us to heal us and in so many ways we become like jesus and herein lies the mystery because we cannot comprehend we cannot understand how this transformation takes place but then with faith especially as we listen to the words of saint paul in our second reading it is all about the unity of the loaf which is broken so that everyone may receive it and share it and this brokenness is so evident in the life of jesus who was broken for us on the cross and he gave us his broken body to enjoy eternal life 
So as disciples of the Lord celebrating the feast of the Corpus Christi, there is so much that we learn and there is so much that we imbibe to become like Jesus in our words, in our actions, to become what we eat. And even in these days of pandemic, when we are not able to receive Jesus physically, by the act of spiritual communion, we receive the grace to become like Jesus in our family, in our community, wherever we may be. It is important for us to realize that the Jesus we receive is the Jesus we become. And so just like Jesus brought healing into the world, just like Jesus spoke the good news, just like Jesus brought joy to the lives of people, in the same way we are called as the body of Christ to bring this joy, to bring this healing, to bring this strength. Because when we have received Jesus, we are receiving strength for our daily living, nourishment for our lives. And this is the best way in which, as disciples, we can spread the word through our lives, through our actions, so that people may recognize the goodness of Jesus who is in each and every one of us. As we pray for each other and we thank the Lord for the gift of the Eucharist, let this Eucharist nourish each and every one of us, and especially during these times of despair. Let this Eucharist keep bringing us hope because it is in this Eucharist that we recognize the presence of Jesus in his body and blood. Amen. We profess the Nicene Creed together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We who are nourished by the body and blood of Christ are invited to surrender our needs and intentions to God with faith. Our response is, Hear our prayer, O Lord. Together. Hear our prayer, O Lord. For the leaders of the church, that their lives may manifest God's love to all, and their service may help people Experience communion with God and others. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. For the leaders of governments, that their prayers may be accepted by all. And programs may benefit all the people entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. For the Christian community gathered in lockdown, that strengthened by spiritual communion, we maintain from the mind and heart of Jesus and involve ourselves in his mission. We pray to the Lord. 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this own of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once for giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church read throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be praised to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
we make the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are present, that you are present in, the most holy sacrament. in the most holy sacrament. I love you, and I love you above, all things. above all things. And I desire, and I desire to, receive you to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, since I cannot at, this moment, at this moment receive you receive sacramentally, sacramentally, come at least spiritually, come at least spiritually into, my heart. into my heart. I embrace you, I embrace you as, if you were already there, as if you were already there and unite myself, and unite myself only to you. Only to you. Never, permit me Never permit me to be separated, to be separated from, you. from you. Amen. Shall reign no more. 